So somewhere in all of this studying the biology behavior, somewhere in there when you're realizing activity levels in this part of the brain one second before this act, what you had for breakfast all the way back to like what culture your ancestors evolved to evolutionary, all of these are influencing your behavior. Most of these variables we're not even aware of. They're subliminal. We never would have expected it. Inevitably, somewhere in there, you got to sit down and start having the free will discussion. So is there any free will in there? And the polite thing that I've sort of said for decades is that, well, if there's free will, it's in all the boring places, and those places are getting more and more cramped. If you want to insist that today you decided to floss your teeth starting on your upper teeth rather than your lower teeth rather than the other way around, that that was an act of free will, whatever, I'll grant that one to you, that's where the free will is. In reality, I don't think there's any free will at all. If you look at the things that come into account as to whether or not someone is going to do the right thing in the next two seconds amid a temptation to do otherwise, and the variables in there reflect everything from whether they are having gas pains that day because of something unpleasant they ate that morning, that makes us more selfish, more impulsive, et cetera, to what epigenetic effects occurred to them than when they were a first trimester fetus. When you look at the number of things we recognize now that are biological, organic, where 500 years ago or five years ago, we would have had a harsh moral judgment about it, and instead we now know, oh, that's a biological phenomenon. When we look at that, either we can say the last 500 years of realizing all of this biology is going to stop right here and there's never going to be a new piece of knowledge in that area. Yeah, there's areas of behavior we still can't explain biologically. But if all you can do is see the logical direction we're going with that is what we're going to get to the point is recognizing, yeah, we're biological organisms, this notion of free will, for want of a less provocative word, is nothing but a myth. What's going to be really challenging, though, is figure out how you structure a society that actually runs humanely, built around the notion that we are merely biological organisms. And that one, I haven't a clue. If someone tells me, you know, oh, nice shirt you're wearing today, and I say, oh, gee, thanks. I've just shown that on some fundamental level, I have trouble accepting there's no such thing as free will. No, actually, I picked this shirt today because the culture I come from has these values and my visual you know, cone receptors told me that this shirt matches with this. And you, know, you still have a reflex to attribute some sort of free will in sort of tiny little domains. If that's going to prove horrible and too difficult to overcome, that's fine. Where we need to do the heavy lifting is when we're making judgments about volition in areas where we harshly judge people, there we really have to do the hard work of thinking through that there's not a lot of free will going on there. Mm -hmm.